Hello bookworms, I'm Becca and today I have another book haul because I have lost all self-control. Basically, Leah on the Offbeat just came out and I went to the bookstore with the intention of just getting that, but of course, you can never just get one. So I just have a short little book haul because that's what my life is. So. Yeah, now I'm going to show you all the books that I got. Obviously, I got Leah on the Offbeat by Becky Albertalli. This is technically the sequel to Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda, but it is told from his best friend Leah's perspective, and I'm really excited to hear her story. I've heard a lot of mixed things about this book, but I'm going in with an open mind because I just love... Becky Albertalli so much and this universe so much and I'm just really happy to have another story with all of these characters. I also grabbed The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee. I've heard so many people talk about this book but I never thought that it would really be my thing so I never really looked into it and then I finally read the synopsis and was like wow. Why have I not gotten this book yet? Why have I not given it a try? So of course I bought it. I also grabbed In Search of Us. This book just sounded so interesting to me. I saw it at Target and didn't end up getting it and then I decided that I need to have it because I couldn't stop thinking about it. Basically it is told from two different time periods. Marilyn's story is told in the late 1990s and it's kind of her story about getting pregnant and having to deal with all of that and then the other perspective is Angie, her daughter, who is telling her story from present day where she's going on a road trip to find out who her father is and discover herself and I just love that so much. I also got Delirium by Lauren Oliver and I'm gonna be honest, I got this just because of the covers and all of the covers look so beautiful because I have not read Replica. Actually, I unhauled Replica from my shelves without even reading it and yeah, I don't really know much about this other series that Lauren Oliver has written, but I am willing to give it a try. Also, just because of the cover, basically. If you guys saw my car vlog, you also know that on Independent Bookstore Day, I went and, wow, I just almost fell. I went and picked up Maud, which is inspired by the life of L.M. Montgomery, and I really love this cover a lot. I have an e-arc of this, but I didn't get around to reading it. So I just decided to buy the book. And finally, I got the first three books in the Nancy Drew mystery series, The Secret of the Old Clock, The Hidden Staircase, and The Bungalow Mystery. Basically, I grew up with Nancy Drew books and I don't know what happened to any of them. And I was feeling really nostalgic, so I'm going to start. Oh, my Nancy Drew collection again. I love these mystery books, I'm not even gonna lie. And I'm so happy to have them once again. Judge me all you want, I don't even care. And there you guys go, that is my very quick book haul of things that I have acquired in the past like two weeks-ish. I really don't go to the bookstore all that often anymore because I haven't felt in the mood to read. So... Yeah, that's just what happened when I went to the bookstore and I'm not even sorry about it because I collect books, obviously. So let me know down below in the comments if you have read any of the books I picked up or let me know what books you have recently acquired because I would like to know. That's all I got for you guys today and I will see you next time. 